What's up, Yes Gamers? Rock the Bruce here. Today we're looking at capture the flag and how important teamwork is in this game mode. I've got a few tips for you, hopefully help you play a little bit better as a part of your team and bring in more victories. <laughs> Kicking things off here, the first point we want to look at, always, always protect the flag carrier. All too often I see guys um, just off doing their own thing. And someone on your team has the flag. Like you see here, I'm, I'm spawning in. A guy in my squad has the flag. So I spawn on him. Of course, even though he's on foot and I'm just on foot, I can provide cover. If he goes down, I can pick up the flag. This is crucial. I think people assume too much that the guy with the flag is going to get home safely or someone else on the team will help defend him. And they're off just kind of doing their own thing. Like everyone's always got in their head like what they're working on. And uh, they just kind of keep going on their own little project, whether that's attacking the enemy base, shooting down a helicopter, whatever. Drop what you're doing in 99% of the scenarios and protect the flag carrier. That is crucial. Point number two, clear the area before making your escape. When you're attacking... Again, too many guys see the flag, they get the blinders on, they're just like, ooh, pretty flag, I want to grab it. And they run out there and snag it, and then they're like, oh, what do I do now? And they just take off running, almost always die immediately. Um, here, I'm moving in. Somebody on my team has the flag, he's making his escape. Didn't quite make it. Um, he actually had an escape plan, but he just uh, got overwhelmed because we're in the squad working together. Now, before I just rush out there and grab the flag, I'm clearing the area. I'm taking stock of what's going on. It doesn't mean you take an hour and look around, but you just stop for half a second and look. Like right here, for example. Pause the video. You'd think, oh, there's a bike. I've got the flag now. Hop on it and get out of here. But no, I was paying attention, and before I rounded that corner, I knew there was an enemy approaching. So I've got to make sure he gets taken care of before I hop on a bike and take off uh, getting out of Dodge. Otherwise, I'm just going to go down as well. The enemy recaps the flag. Obviously, no one gets any kind of benefit out of that for our team. So clear the area. Take a look around your surroundings. Um, same thing when you see a buddy going for the flag, even if you're not going to cap it. Start checking around. Just making sure things are okay. Don't just get that you know, look in your eye of, oh, we're going to get a point capturing the flag, and you just take off running, and you don't actually take five seconds, look around you, and, and see what's going on in your surroundings. Makes all the difference in the world. Final point, don't always engage the enemy. That seems kind of weird. Why wouldn't you shoot the bad guys? Well, I'm referring specifically to when you're attacking, and surprise is one of your greatest assets. You hear me and a teammate see those bad guys? Easy kill for the picking. No. We both communicate that we're moving on, letting them be, because the longer you can be behind enemy lines without them knowing you're there, the better chance you can have that sweet surprise attack, grab the flag and get out before they know it hit them. We'll finish up with a random, completely unrelated, small kill that was pretty sweet. But that wraps up this video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Capture the flag is a blast. If you haven't tried it yet, you've got to. It is a lot of fun. Hopefully these tips will help you as you're kind of getting started in this game mode. A um, couple of crucial things that are very easily and all too often overlooked. And as always, don't forget, Battlefield 3, only rookies camp the enemy spawn.